If you have a Squarespace website and you want to use some other third-party software like an email provider or Calendly or like embedding your podcast, then you're going to need to use a custom code block. Here's how to do that. In your Squarespace website, click the plus icon and then click the code block. This is where you can embed code on a page. You get this code from whatever third-party software that you're using. For example, if I want to embed my Calendly scheduler, then I'm gonna to go to Calendly. I'm gonna click the embed code and most of these things will have them. And I'm just going to copy and paste it in here. Now it's not going to show up until I click save on the page. But once I do, you'll see that it pops up. Cool. Now whoever comes to my page can schedule with me. There are some things that you're not gonna to wanna to have to update all the time. For example, if you have a podcast, every time you upload it to a hosting platform like Buzzsprout, you don't wanna to have to go into Squarespace and then create another custom code block, code block and embed it. It's just gonna take a lot of time. Instead, you can embed one custom code block and then every single time that you create an episode, it's going to update on your website automatically. Here's what I mean. I go into Squarespace, I click the plus insert icon, I click the code block. Now I've got this thing ready to go. I'm gonna to go to Buzzsprout and here I can embed multiple episodes in one player. I'm gonna click this copy embed code, go back to my page and I'm going to paste it. Now, once I save it, you'll see that it populates up here. What's cool about this is that anytime I create another episode, it's all going to populate up here so that people can select it. And it displays all the ones that I've done in the past. Pretty cool, right? There's two other ways that you might use, use custom code. You might want to embed some code so that it displays across an entire page of your website, or you might want to embed some custom code so it displays across your entire website. Here's what I mean. Say I want to have a schedule button at the bottom right of a certain page. All I need to do is go to where I'm getting this custom code. This is my Calendly. Go back to my website. I'm gonna click the gear icon on the page. Then I'm going to go to advanced. And here I have page header code injection. From here, all I'm gonna do is paste the code. Then I'm gonna click save. Now we'll see that at the bottom of this page, there is a schedule time with me button that somebody can click to have my calendar pop up for them. Pretty convenient. Now that's if you want to just embed code on a certain page, but what if you want to embed it across your entire website? You don't wanna to have to go into every single page and do this whole thing of going into the gear icon. It's gonna be a lot. So instead, here's what you do. Back out into your Squarespace main navigation menu, go to settings, go to advanced, go to code injection. Then where it says header, you're just going to paste that code and then click save. Now to check it, I can go back to any of these other pages that I have not embedded that scheduler in. So for example, I'll go to this men's page. No idea what's on this page and here it is. This is populating over here, so I've got this ready to go. Those are the three ways that you can use custom code on your site, at the block level, at the page level, and at the site level. If you have any questions about how to use custom code or embedding a certain third-party software, go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment sections below. And if you want to see other tutorials like this, make sure that you subscribe to my channel because I have free Squarespace web design tutorials, entire course, so that you have everything you need to make an awesome custom Squarespace website. All of my love, and I will see you on the next episode.